It's Terrific Tuesday at Seacrest Studios, and we're so excited because we are welcoming our friends from AIR, the group AIR. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. David on? and Carter. We're excited that you guys are here. We're excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. I just want you around. I just want you around me. Yeah, I just want you around. I want somebody to need this body. Want somebody to need this. I want somebody to need this body. I want somebody to need this. Well, you learn that I'm honest and I keep my promises. Make you love me and I watch this out of my wallet. Yeah, and I'll show you the strongest side. The other side of the pond is don't know me, then you don't know Modest. I said one quick pace in your face got me brainwashed. Sun came out and the gosh darn rain stopped. Ten out of ten, you gotta aim up a burn brown hair with an iron man say top. What you wanna do? Give you one minute. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Something man. that annoys you. There's got to be stuff about each other that annoys annoys oh, no, no, you, no, no, right? But not about, come on, not about <laughs> each other. In general. In general, a pet peeve. I'd say, um... Well, definitely, definitely on the tour bus when people leave laundry out. Yeah, your dirty underwear yeah. places. No, we, no one wants to see we that. We live on a bus with about eight people, so... <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. I'd say people who just completely disregard social rules. That bothers me. <laughs> you know. Uh, like leaving your laundry out. <laughs> like that. There, that constitutes. Yeah, yeah. And that's, then that's not, and then too. not admitting that it's your and laundry. Then not and then when we throw it out of the moving bus. <laughs> and yeah, we call that throwing that to the lake. Which we hate you doing. You do that? We hate doing it. It's Whoa. very rare. What? If no one's going to claim the dirty underwear, it's going yeah. out the window. Oh, my it's word. It's more for the impression as opposed to the environmental damage that we're causing. Um, so what can they do from inside the hospital to start becoming a musician or start doing music like you guys like to do? I'd say, well, from my position, I do a lot of writing. And for me, it's always been just, you know, never stop the brainstorming process. You know, if you're having a conversation with someone and you hear two words that sound really good together, mm -hmm. you know, scribble it in a notebook because for all you know, a year later, that could be the best line of a song you want to write. You know, and I just think it's practice makes perfect. Obviously, everybody says that, but you know, the more you're writing, the more natural it'll become, and before you know it, you can be writing masterpieces of songs. Very good. But in terms of instrumentation, what do you uh, think? Yeah, I think you just. Are there like computer programs or? Yeah, yeah there's always there's always computer programs, Garage but I think the best is way is to just pick up an instrument. You do. Yeah. What what would you what would be your suggestion if like somebody doesn't know how to play an instrument? What would yeah. be like the easiest one to start learning on? Uh, I don't know about the easiest, but there's a lot of like if you want to learn guitar, there's a lot of songs that are very simple, and if you just learn songs like right off the bat, um, you know chords and stuff. There's a lot, a lot of songs have like three chords in them. Right. So you can just learn three chords on the guitar and then... It'll kind of transfer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how I learned. Like, I would just learn songs, like how to play them. And then just from there, just keep going. Write your own songs. And... Pretty lady, what's your number? Won't you tell me where you're going after this? I see you strutting with your short skirt. Bet you're headed to the beach by the bayside. I just want you around me. What's up, guys? I'm David. And I am Carter, and together we're Air, and you're listening to Seacrest Studios. I just want you to be